Hey, I'm photographer David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. The moon. Whether you believe that man landed there or not, we did, by the way, it's been a popular subject for photographers around the world for generations. But it can sometimes be tricky to photograph properly. Today, I'll give you some tips to improve your moon photography. The first thing you want to do is figure out your composition. While it might be easy enough to make a shot of the moon all by itself, I recommend that you try to frame it with something in the foreground. That gives it a sense of place. Even if it's just a random building or a tree, it'll enhance your image significantly. If you do decide to photograph the moon by itself, use the longest lens you can so that you can eliminate most of the dark space around the moon. Even better, shoot when there's still a little bit of light in the sky so you'll have some color around it. If you're shooting tight, it's nice when it's not a full moon because the side light from the sun will help to bring out the detail on the surface of the moon. You won't see all of the craters as well if it's lit from the front. Finally, shoot on manual exposure because your camera's meter can easily be fooled by the big areas of light and darkness. The moon is much brighter than you think. A good rule of thumb for guessing the exposure is called the Looney 11 rule. Set your aperture at f11 and then match your shutter speed to your ISO. So for example, if you're shooting at a 500th of a second, then you want an ISO of 500 at f11. Of course, you should adjust to taste from there, but it's a good starting point if you're not using a light meter. So remember, to photograph the moon, try to make an interesting composition, shoot when the moon isn't full, and use the Looney 11 rule to nail your exposure every single time. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and visit the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.